Yeah, boy. Hi guys, welcome back to another Game Boys or Arsenal here, guys. And as you can see today, there's going to be another car video. And oh my god, finally got round to doing my own car. So yeah, this is basically going to be a video of my car. So if you guys have followed my journey of my build on my uh, Honda Civic, um, yeah, I thought might as well get down and actually do one of my own. Um, I filmed this quite a little while ago, but I think it's come out pretty nice and I really hope you guys will enjoy this one. So in this one, I go out with Dan. So he's basically filming me driving him around, uh, taking our, doing our, basically doing our normal routes that we do when we go and do car videos. Um, and yeah, it was actually one of the hottest days ever filming this, but it was really, really fun and I really did enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoy this one um, as, yeah, it's my own build, basically going out, showing you guys what my car's like and showing you all the stuff I've done to it. So hope you guys enjoy this one and uh, yeah, see you later. Uh, man, I jump on and I'm not from the northwest. I'm from the east mid, but I'm wearing my vest and I check the beach shit before I get vexed. And my flow don't need it because I'm better than the rest. Yeah, man, I gotta get blue bird. Now I'm taking a chest, gonna get flu bird. Uh, or birth flu. Now I'm gonna hurt you. Whip your lines up on my words that I'll do you. Yeah, I'll keep you in my blue shoe right down to the soul. Never even knew you. Man, I go home and I know I can do you. Man, you don't know what I mean by blue shoe. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Game Boys Are Awesome featuring me. Danny from Kanjo Customs to give you the download on all things Honda. Brush down your barnet, button up your favourite whistle and flute, slip on your sliders, chuck on your top bins, you're in for a blast. And finally, yes finally, introducing Kieran's Honda Civic, affectionately known in the Honda community as an FK3. No, L's not frozen over, we are doing Mr Game Boys Are Awesome's personal build. Kieran's FK3 is finished in this luscious, rare, iridium bronze pearl. It looks a bit like Marmite, most opinions on it are Marmite, but here at Kanjo Customs, we love it. The European domestic market Civic FK3, often referred to as the spaceship looking Civic because of its out of this world contemporary styling, may finally come back down to earth in terms of its aesthetic. Let's take a deep dive into outer space as we probe this motor. Kieran is running this Mugen style grill with complimentary FN2 Type R badge and a very aggy vented and grooved fiberglass bonnet. Kieran's also running these Team Heco wind deflectors and coming in at the rear, this preposterously large but awesome Mugen style spoiler with a custom gloss black central section. And just for a bit of bling bling, this optional extra Honda Access fuel cap. Just like Mrs. Doubtfire being caught in something he shouldn't to the well-trained eye, yes you clocked it, this is a five door masquerading as a three. Kieran's running the three door Type R body kit. It does require a bit of fettling and additionally some exhaust tips and or reflectors but all in all we think here at Kanjo Customs it looks proper cushy. To complement his colour schemes he's resprayed his OEM wheels in gloss black, he's replaced his centre claps with Type R rep ones and resprayed his calipers with this much more sportier red. Now it's the exterior examined, now let's go for an internal probing. This is most likely where the FK3 got coined its name, the Spaceship model. With the cockpit resembling that of the Starship Enterprise, FK3's timeless styling now seems to be in the correct decade. The FK3 features a dual instrument cluster, the top half featuring a quick glance for the time and your speed and the bottom half featuring all the rest of the normal clobber. Continuing the Type R theme and red and black and bronze, Kieran's gone with the FN2 Type R 
Alcantara highly bolstered bucket seats. And to accompany that, he's even managed to acquire the genuine red OEM mats and Type R rep Ali gear knob. Unlike the predecessor, the EP3, the FK3 now featured a trim level optional extra sat nav. Kieran's got a full ass and managed to get the matching Type R rear bench. Alright guys, let's do this. Let's do this guys. So as you can see, oh, it's just Suzuki. There's a Suzuki coming in, but we're in uh, my car, I thought we'd do a, um, what's it doing? Uh, uh, it's an old woman, I think she's, oh, no, she's turning in. So a bit senile. Oh no, she's found her ass. Yeah. She's, <laughs> she's got an omen beacon. Right, so we're in, our, in my car today. Yes, yeah, so it rolls reversed a bit today, guys, so it might look a bit confusing. Yeah, so I'm um, driving, and if you see that like, we're really like sweating up, it's just because it's, it's probably the hottest day to oh, do yeah, this. Yeah. I can't believe how hot it is. And we're trying to keep the windows up so you can hear us. Yeah, I've got mine down a little, like a bit, because it, it's freaking, I ain't got no air con in the moment, I'm just getting a bit yeah. gassed. It's a lot, mate, it's a lot. We had a busy day cleaning up both cars and whatnot. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're going to try and do rolls reversed and the long awaited video on Kieran's car. Why we never thought of this before is, is... I don't know. I always keep, we keep thinking of doing everyone else's, but I've actually done quite a lot of work on mine, haven't I? So yeah, exactly, yeah. It's kind of what helped inspire it, because obviously you're doing yours, and we're like, oh, why don't we do some yeah. others? And yeah, we just never really got around to doing yours like this, to be fair, so. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, it's, it's not a bad, uh, bad car. I ain't really done anything to the engine yet, but it's full of stock and that. Balls are right. Definitely pulls, isn't it? Yeah. I like the sound of the, you know, of the, of the turbo you can hear in it, like, right? Yeah. You know, you can hear it. You know, if you guys picking up. Well, probably not, but. but uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a nice car. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with how it's come along in the past few years. Yeah. seen that video go have a look at it yeah you, yeah, if you want a bit of a bubble this is a bit where he like skidded on the ATR yeah yeah that LSD kicked in right. nice bit of boost there I like it what are you, what are you nice loud blow off valve mate yeah that's pretty much pretty much it yeah. <laughs> a bit of a skid <laughs> what was that Best I've ever done that. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting too excited. He's watched too many of his own videos and he's, he's trying to replicate it. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I did. I didn't expect it though. <laughs> we're going it up, guys. We're going it up. What do you reckon? I go yeah. back to where we were? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh my god. Oh wow. Yeah, that was uh Yeah, that was fun. I don't know why, I think it's because it's hot roads, isn't it? Maybe that's why. Yeah. I wasn't giving that much heat. No. Just going in up to the corner. Just turning in a bit speedy. Saw that boost, mate. As soon as yeah. the boost kicked in. <laughs> is, that dirt, is that diesel getting in? <laughs> no meter, you know, it's all, it's all boost here guys, it's all boost here. <laughs> <laughs> Big spoolie boys and all that. Big spoolie boys. <laughs> oh, didn't, didn't see that one too. Oh mate. Is it is it three points for in the cyclist? Because there's two there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hit anybody. <laughs> I'm your bad influence. <laughs> I'm like, do it, do it. <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know we were playing a game. <laughs> yeah, it's like on GTA when you hit them Buddhists. Oh you know, yeah. Fine, it's like you get that. It comes up with that slogan, doesn't it? Namaste or something like that. Yeah. Fucking Buddhists. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, it's good there. But the top down view is sick, mate. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately I'm old enough to remember that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk to you more about the motor itself. Um, so basically, obviously we'll refer to them as the, in terms of EP um, and FN2, which is the Type R variant of the two chassis. So the predecessor being the EP, yeah. uh, most people probably know the EP3, which is a Type R in this era, which is, is it 7th or something, that some people refer to it yeah, as? I think it's the 8th, yeah, 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 yeah. So, well, oh, okay. we call it FN shape, yeah. so I don't know that mock generation thing, we don't, we don't refer to that in the Jap world. Um, but yeah, basically there's a massive um, difference in, in the cars, which started obviously with the interior, so you got this like, what most people refer to as like the spaceship sort of dashboard. Yeah, very, very um, futuristic, and it's still quite modernised today. It does, yeah. yeah. It, I thought it was a bit out there at the time, but that, that top display with your speedo is like the sort of thing you'd have on like a, a race car or something. Yeah. Or you've got an eco on the type R, that's like your VTEC uh, changing when you're in rage VTEC and obviously when you change gear, so yeah. it's a shift light. Um, but yeah, basically, you've got all like the mod cons and stuff now. Um, you get like climate control, heated seats, and things like that. So the heated seats would have gone here, so these yeah. ones were for. Um, and the EPs, like aircon was an optional extra. You yeah. had to request it in the dealerships, yeah. like, like Honda Access parts. And this just came with everything. Yeah. So people were, were disappointed it wasn't as raw, but then at the same time, Honda weren't going for that. So this, they do feel very solid and stable. Yeah. Um, and like comfort wise, and how plush they are, like the, the miles then, apart. And there's loads of room in them as well. You can fit so much stuff in them as yeah. you could. Um, yeah, he is too. You know, yeah. loads of room in the back. You know, you can put the seats down. You got plenty of room. For, you know, for going anywhere or storing stuff in it. I think people were just frightened to change. I'm not saying I wasn't part of that. I was as well. Because I've called me old cars. They are tighter, confined spaces. Yeah. The EP's still quite narrow and quite obviously small on in the cabin um, and quite basic. But but well, that doesn't bother me to be fair. But yeah, if you wanted like the, the best of both worlds, so, like the FN2 came with a lot of them features just straight up. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It was a lot more plush and quieter and uh, less asbo, I think it might be the term, yeah. which is what they were aiming for. And obviously, it was the first um, time, obviously, Honda sent everything over to England, and they're like, right, everything's getting done there now. Um, because the EP3 did have a JDM variant, and yeah. it was the same, it was still the same chassis as such, still the same, same car. Yeah. The problem when you have this shape, you had a completely different one, which was more like the K2 shape, which is a generation after, um, but it was like a five door, it was more like a saloon shape. So I think that's what confused people, and that's yeah. not really happened before, you see. So, but then all of these were all Euro market old solely, yeah. and you had to do a, a, a reverse market import, which was called like the Euro R in Japan. If you wanted one of these, and had to send one back over to Japan, and it had like a little British flag on it, which was hilarious. So, that's mad. Yeah. And also, wasn't you say this? They didn't do hot, that diesels before until they brought this shape out, wasn't it? No, they, 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 they did them before, but there wasn't as many predecessors. Yeah, that's what I was saying, yeah. Um, and this is the same one that, that share, is shared in like the Accords and stuff like that. So they've not been doing them for a long time. So obviously when there's, there's now more variety, because you've got like the CRVs and now the Civics and uh, obviously the Accords and all of a sudden there's all these diesels, I think people were a bit surprised. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because before, the petrol engines were so economic, they didn't really need to worry about it, so yeah. it's just something new, really. So, yeah, it's fair. It's pretty decent, though. I'm happy with it. It's a good car, it keeps me happy. Yeah. 
get it, get it's not let me down, it's reliable, so it's yeah. what I like. Well, it feels so much more plush and like solid and robust uh, compared to the other ones, I totally get that. Um, and the fact that they do still feel quite modern inside. Yeah. Um, maybe is why it was so frightening when they came back because they were like too far ahead and yeah. so now they've caught up with themselves so now everything's like paralleled like yeah. time scale wise um, so yeah well, it feels like that myself so yeah but they have kept like some of these dashes in the latter shape or the newer shape civics to be fair yeah um, lots of the gauge clusters themselves have changed but yeah it's cool man so yeah but you get you get cruise controls in these models as well. Yeah, yeah, you do. Uh, yeah. And and in some of them you get uh, down here. You don't get on this one. But you get like climate control uh, on yeah. both sides, which wasn't even an option uh, in like the EP threes and stuff. So yeah, you yeah. it's good. You can get foldable windows. Mine hasn't got foldable windows. I mean uh, mirrors. I ain't got that in mine. But um, you can, yeah, like you said, you got heated seats. You can get. You can get. Uh, I think there's even like sat nav built in, but that's probably out of date yes. now. But people do yeah. still have them in them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which has like a little sat nav screen on here. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, yeah be cool man. That's pretty much pretty much the car, guys. Yeah, it's been a very hot one. We're like, I'm literally dripping, but uh, yeah, some random bits. <laughs> <laughs> well, your Game Boys are awesome, yeah, so you awesome do expect game some Game Boy memorabilia in your car. So yeah, man. So, yeah, let talk us through the wing. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Oh yeah, if you can see for the mirror, um, you can like actually um, you can't actually see the spoiler. As you can yeah. see, you would think it might be in the way. Like you get like some of the Evos, is it, and stuff that actually get they actually go in the in the way of the um, of the rear window, don't they? So yeah, you're mine. Really like actually, you can't even see it. So it's literally you wouldn't even know you got it on unless you look out, or you even shine it into the mirror. You might mm. be able to see it just in the mirror, like. So I don't know if that's coming off on camera, but but yeah. It, it, you wouldn't even know it's on there unless you got out of the car, really. Yeah. So, it's, it's sick. so it looks quite obstructive, but it's really not too bad. So, jobs are yeah. done. Win win. Mugen all the way. Mugen all the way, yeah. I'm yeah. definitely uh, still got some more bits I want to get on, as you've probably heard. So it's going to be uh, some f***ing <laughs> put on, hopefully. Yeah. Well, sh sh we'll save that yeah. for our, our other videos soon <laughs> to come. So, yeah, you'll be in the know with that. Uh, yeah. We've got another channel for that one. So, um, so do I do the yeah boy yeah boys are awesome bit now? Is that, if you want to do that, you know, I don't know if it's a bit odd. <laughs> We're doing it, so <laughs> yeah boy and <laughs> keep watching. Game boys are awesome. Nice one. Peace, guys. <laughs> <laughs> See how it ends, KC, Hasty, that's all I defend deep down you know my name so don't pretend to fuck the week I only live for the weekend, yeah. only live for the weekend You only live for the weekend, KC, Hasty, only live for the weekend You only live for the weekend